Hey guys, what's up? Tech Lush Brigaski here, and today we're going to do a review of the MBOT. So the MBOT is actually a small um, Arduino powered robot for educational purposes. Now the reason why I'm doing a review of it is not because I'm a third grader, which I think is the actual target age for this. It is because they send this over to me. Um, my mom's actually a third grade teacher and um, they thought that maybe I could check this out. So as part of the One Robot for Kid campaign, which is something I think they made up. Um, I'm not sure if it was actually something beforehand, but definitely a cool concept. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm actually part of a robotics team. I'm actually the captain of the robotics team in my school. So this is something that I really do quite enjoy. And uh, a little tiny Arduino powered robot for $50 is definitely worth it. Now this started as a Kickstarter um, and it was successful. I think it raised three times its goal which is awesome, I love when I see that, and it actually became a real product, not vaporware. So before we get into a full review, I actually want to build it for you guys, so let's go to that little time lapse. Oh, now we're going to actually build the thing, um, so I'm first going to go over what I have here. So I have my wheels, um, I have my screwdriver that they included, it's double sided, um, so Phillips and then hex, put that back, I have my aluminium chassis, my um, laser sensor, my line following sensor, my Bluetooth module, my ball bearing kind of thing, um, my M core Arduino, my two servo motors, my four AA batteries, which were not included, along with this Leatherman, which is obviously not included, all my screws, and then finally um, my battery thing, my battery uh, bank, and some cables. So let's get to building. Okay, so um, just cut in for a bit. I think you noticed that I'm taking out some pliers and the Phillips head side. Now, you can, they included the Phillips head side just for this, but when you just turn it, it's a bolt, it's a bolt and screw, a bolt and uh, nut rather. So that's not gonna work. So you have to take some sort of plier um, to make sure that it's tight. Now I do recommend actually over, like more than hand tightening this because um, they will work themselves loose over time. So definitely try to find some like needle nose pliers and uh, get in there just for a bit of tightening. You saw the build and this is the finished product um, as you can see it's very friendly looking it looks like it could be your friend um, and little kids would definitely take a liking to it so you see you start turning it on with this little switch right here makes a little beep and it has a remote control that you can control with it now I actually kind of broke it um, I'm not sure how 
Uh, they were going to send me another one, but I've decided to just do the review without it. So I'm going to have to use my phone to control it, and I will show you guys that in a second. Using the MakeBlock app, the MBOT Scratch program, and the MBOT Remote, you can achieve driving motions, line following motions, wall avoiding motions, LED changes, and sounds. Kind of got carried away with that. So as you can see, this thing is cool. It moves around cool, it does some cool stuff, um, and it can teach your child about robotics. Um, so who is this for? Well, if you're a teacher and you have younger children, um, then definitely bring this up to your school board because I think they will like this. Um, if you are a parent of a child around the third to fifth grade age range, then I would definitely recommend buying this for your kid. Um, it's an awesome present. I'm sure they get a lot of fun out of it, and it could be a pretty cool educational experience also. And it's just an overall learning device that I think could be used for anybody. I mean, I found it kind of fun. I'm not sure if this is what you go out and buy your 15-year-olds, but hey, they will still have fun with it. Now, to get to more of a review portion, I'll go over certain of the electronics. The electronics were very well labeled, which I think was their, their purpose of actually making the M-Core, which is their Arduino knockoff kind of thing. It's, it's based on Arduino. Arduino is open source. And they made it easier for kids, which is awesome. Um, it has like, two PWM ports. Um, that they label M1 and M2, and in the programming language, which is Scratch, um, you actually have to program to the M1 and M2 port that are awesomely labeled. So that's really cool because that's kind of real world kind of stuff. Um, I know for my robotics thing is um, we do the same kind of things. Except we do like Talon one, Talon two, Vector, Vix. It, it, it's more a lot more complicated, but it's the same basic concepts, and that's what's really awesome. Um, it also has RJ45 ports that are all coded with numbers, which also we use in the programming language. Um, an awesome little battery pack, which is cool. And just overall, it's a nice module. I can see the Bluetooth module pops out just like this. And then you just plug it in right to these PWM ports that are right soldered onto a board. So nice and easy, no problem, all labeled, all keyed. Can't put it in the wrong way, which is awesome. Has a few little buttons on the side for different tasks. And then it uses a standard um, six volt, I believe, power connector to the four battery pack, which contains four double A's. Now, if you are actually buying this, I recommend buying the add-on battery pack. I'm not sure if you can get that in the US yet. Um, that'll be on the screen. Um, but this thing does eat double A's. So I would recommend getting the rechargeable one if you actually want to play around with this for a good amount, or if you actually are bringing this into the classroom, because you will eat batteries a lot. I've gone through like three packs. Um, and then going down to the bottom, we have the two um, default kind of PID connectors, or PID devices. Um, now I, I know some of you guys are not going to know what that means, but basically this is a, a track, like a line tracking sensor, um, and then this is a visual sensor that uh, makes it so if something's in front it'll dodge it, which you saw in a little demonstration. Um, go down to the less electronic but more, you know, mechanical side. You have a nice I'd say eighth inch thick aluminium body that's powder coated blue. Um, I know they have a pink version too for those girls. Um, not to be sexist or anything, but I think that's what they meant. And then you have two um, servos that are decently sized. They don't go too fast, but they're fine. And then, of course, you have the two rubber wheels. And that's it. I mean, the rubber actually pops off, which is a gear. Pretty cool. So it's, it's a pretty simple device. Definitely a cool gift idea. Um, if you have a little brother, this might be something cool, or a little sister that's interested in this kind of stuff. I recommend this for everybody. So that's kind of it. It's definitely a Kickstarter. There are some quirks. Um, or it's not a Kickstarter anymore. It's definitely coming out of a Kickstarter stage. There are some quirks, but after they're all said and done, I mean, this thing is pretty cool. So thank you guys for watching. Tech Clutch for Cal's Gear signing out. But before I want to sign up, I want to talk about the new logo. Um, that was made by Iconics Design, one of my friends. Um, he's really awesome. Um, as you can see, it looks nice and professional, which is a step up from what we had before that I designed in Photoshop with like two text things and putting, it, 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 it was rough but I had that logo from the beginning so it's nice to have a new professional logo um, also I want you guys to follow my Twitter I'm really active there that's the only social network I'm really active at the moment that I've kind of come away from my personal to actually go to the tech clash personal account um, you know what I meant uh, so Twitter for sure 
And that's kind of it. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. Comments make me feel really good because I like when I hear from you guys, not just, you know, a number. You guys are a comment and I can talk to you guys. So definitely comment down below, like it, and catch you on the next one. I will have more regular videos now. Um, I'm pretty much back into it. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, Tech Lush here, signing out.